Hello and welcome to day five of our Playmakers Camp. We are kind of going off of what we had done on day four, which was to create a board game. But this time we are sort of incorporating board games into a greater uh, sort of scene that we're going to create to show how our Lego minifigures are going to be participating in indoor activities and following some of our core values like inclusion, teamwork and having fun. So our goal today is to build some kind of scene that involves different games and leisure activities. Um, these don't necessarily have to be indoor activities, but uh, I just wanted this to be different than like competitive sports. So think of things that um, are more hobbies, leisures, things that you do for fun and not necessarily um, competition or competitive. So your build could incorporate board games, computer and video games, um, other leisure activities, bowling, ping pong, playing cards, exercising, and other fun activities you can do with your friends. So that's what we're thinking about today is just how can we really represent how to have fun um, while participating in leisure activities or indoor activities. So you could, if you want to brainstorm, use a blank piece of paper, make a graphic organizer, make a list uh, just of all like the fun things that you do with friends and family inside or for fun. So board games that you like to play, do you play computer or video games? Um, when you're at school, do you, do you play games at recess? What kind of games do you like to play? Uh, what kind of, you know, if there's a fun Friday at school, what do you like to do? And then other activities that you like to do with friends and family. You know, I have lots of pictures here just to kind of show. You know, uh, the top ones are kind of more hobbies and leisure activities. And then just some more like exercise and yoga. Um, you know, even things like sitting on a park bench or getting on a Segway, riding a horse, playing guitar. Uh, all of these different fun things. So today is really about what are things that you like to do um, that are sort of relaxing and, and enjoyable, not necessarily competitive. So you want to um, show some of these leisure activities with your Lego and especially uh, showing the interaction with your minifigures. And so when you're building, you can start uh, with a model that I've created. Uh, this includes playing board games with friends. There's also some computer stations um, and some more seating where um, in my, my picture up here, you've got like a virtual reality station. So they've got like the VR headset. And I, I did the, the like VR by turning the hair backwards, <laughs> but it's kind of fun and looks like maybe a VR station. So this is my Inspire model. Uh, if you'd like to build, build it, you can. Um, so you can click here for the building instructions. And then today we're also really thinking about some of these core values. So the first core values um, are on page six of your engineering notebook. Today we're really just focusing on these three, inclusion, teamwork, and fun. Um, but there are uh, other core values that can definitely be incorporated into today's activity. So just thinking about these statements we respect each other and embrace our differences. We are stronger when we work together and we enjoy and celebrate what we do. So how can you show these statements in your Lego model as well? Now, if you need a little extra stuff to do, again, I'm really gonna encourage you to think about trying to make some stop motion videos with Lego. Um, I like using this free app, Stop Motion Studio. I use this with my students at school. Um, you want to make something that's like at least five seconds long and then in the settings you can change the frames per second and I would do something around 10 to 15 which means a five second long video if it's 10 frames per second is going to have 50 pictures. So think about you know subtle movements, slow movements and just play around. If you need any help using this app there's this tutorial right here which is really nice. Uh, I have my students watch this tutorial um, just so that everybody learns how to use the app and where all the settings are, especially things like frames per second. That's one of the first things that they share on here. 
All right, as always, we want to see what you were able to make. So your Lego models, take pictures of those, and please share your stop motion videos if you were able to do those. All right, we hope you have a wonderful day.